children of the internet and YouTube. I am Shimana Mana Mana, otherwise known as Savannah Absets, and this is Kiki Fan Girl 64. Check me out on YouTube. I only have three three videos up right now. So after much difficulty of uh, recording and time accessing this and life and up my savannah she is my pretty little kid i'm not a cat what are you talking about okay you we're not me, okay. we're not reading we're talking about crushes i've decided crushes? yep you a boy from my animation class and a boy in my dance class who's a freshman actually oh yeah so, two freshmen and a junior. Well, tell us about them. Well, you. Everyone knows about you. Well, no. I don't think my personality has quite come across yet in my videos. Okay, you're a lovable little weirdo. You're basically me with more energy and an extrovert. And, you know, tall. <laughs> Thanks for bringing <laughs> that up. You're all gonna... Gosh. Are we posting this both to our video, our, our channels? Yeah. Okay, then. Apparently, we're gonna have the same video. <sighs> so... Okay, yeah. what about the boy from your dance class? Okay, I... You know him. Yeah, I know him. Um... Uh, actually, um, before I knew he was dating you, I actually had a crush on your ex. Who? Aaron. Very much everybody has had a crush on him, like, 14 girls. I saw when I first met him. Actually, I just wanted to really be a f his friend because I really didn't have a crush. I just had a romantic attraction to him. But you still don't. Yeah, I understand. Because I am a romantic. I am not. I do not have sexual attractions. Seriously, I don't. It's probably because of my medication. Oh. Well, I definitely have uh, sexual attractions. But. This is getting deep. <laughs> this is getting deep. <laughs> I've never been, like, attracted to girls. Well, that sucks. Well, would you experiment with me? Mm, no, I've already sort of experimented. You barely experimented with her. Barely. D you didn't even date her. Yeah, we did. For how long? Like, let's see. Like, actually date. Not just, like, friendly date. Like, actually date. Yeah, but uh, I I dabbled and I didn't like it, so it would be different with me. It's different with every other person. I could be your soulmate in a romantic sense, anyway. Yeah, but see, I already know that I. Just... We talked section... about it. We had talked about it two years ago, and you were like all for it with me, anyway. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm just not. Ugh. Oh, not. Heart. You hurt my heart, woman. I'm sorry. You hurt my heart. I'm sorry. My heart hurts so much when I see your hands. It's every day of the mirror on the list. Not even the, with the millionth in the list. I wasn't even there. But there wasn't a million. <laughs> like. I really know. But I wasn't even in, like, the end of the list. Not even, like, a potential on the list, which yeah. hurt my heart. It hurt my heart so much. <laughs> I am getting so sad, I'm sad right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. Continue. Force myself to like somebody. I know, but I like you. You can at least try. I could. No, that's like but... asking someone trying to change their sexuality. Yeah. But your romantic, your romantic 
physicality might be different than your sexuality. Yeah, but you could have two relationships, a romantic seen... relationship and your sexual relationship. But I've always had a sexual sexuality be a part of a relationship. Yeah. I've never had sexuality be a, a part of a relationship. I've always had it romantic based. Romantically based. Well, that's which wasn't really fair to the person I was dating. It wasn't sexually based, but it, it was I've always had it a part of it. Your sexuality as part of it. Yeah. yeah. I get that. I'm sorry. I I threw it off topic. <laughs> Got from crushes to you and me. Woo! <laughs> They're so good. Totally yeah. like scripted this and everything. Totally. Okay. Um. So yeah, Jonah's adorable. Jonah's a sweetheart. By the way, my freshman crush. Uh, second freshman crush. Male freshman crush. Male freshman crush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. What about that junior? Junior? Oh, I haven't seen him in a long time since it was from first semester. By the oh, way, we're ending school right about now. Two, one, one and a half weeks. One and a half weeks. Hmm. Yeah. I haven't seen him very much, Um, but he was the popular type, so. It was just kind of a what if crush. Right, like, what if? What if? Would it change my social status? I really don't want to change my social status. I'm a big weirdo. I would just, you know, get kicked out immediately anyway. Oh, I'm fine with that. I'm a big well-known weirdo. That's why I found my person. I'm sort of an extrovert, but not really. No, you're pretty much an extrovert compared to me. Yeah, but, like, getting called out on, like, in class or something, if I'm unprepared, I crumble under pressure. Oh no, I I am, um, I am a complete extrovert in the classroom, but socially, I am an introvert. Socially, and I'm I'm an extrovert, and in the classroom, I'm normally an extrovert, but like in some situations, you're an introvert. in yeah, in some situations, if I'm singled out, like. For concert performances, I have no problem at all because I'm there with I'm there with thirty other kids, however many. You know, it's like thirty-two. And at least thirty. School. Yeah, and middle school was thirty-two. And then high school just got bigger. But you're in concert band, not symphonic, right? Right. I was going to be. Wait, what's the difference? Concert is like first level, and then symphonic is next, and then wind ensemble. One day, one day. I will be first chair of wind ensemble. I will be you have to get into the it. very best. You need to get actually into wind ensemble first. True. Oh, by the way, for an introvert, I am very, very, very physical, and also asexual, which is weird. But you're not, so it's like... No, I'm asexual in the sexual stance. Oh. I am pansexual in the romantic stance. So I guess it would be panmantic? <laughs> I'm making up words for some reason. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna talk about Aaron now, because... Just Aaron and Jordan. You actually home. dated him. I don't know much about him, except that, um... He is... He's a total sweetheart. Oh my god, he is a sweetheart. But he has so many physical, um, difficulties. What do you mean? He's actually allergic to iron. Um, yep, yep. And he sees things in his mind. Which, what is See it now? called? Schizophrenia. Schizophrenia, yeah. He has major schizophrenia. I actually, um, I have... offered to draw his characters. I actually really want to draw his faceless twins. I have mild schizophrenia. I had schizophrenia. Well, actually, I am diagnosed with um, 
a schizophrenic. I don't know. I'll tell it to you later. I don't remember the technical name. I have of mild it. schizophrenia, so. Are you diagnosed? Yes. By who? Medical professionals. I'm going to disclose my people's, whatever they're called, names. So you actually went to a psychologist? Oh, cool. I'm also a sociopath. Like, clinically proven. So. A sociopath? You have emotions. Not a sociopath. I'm sorry. A psychopath. Yeah. Um, schizophrenic. I'm schizophrenic. And, and. And I'm one of those two. Or both. I don't know. Okay, we got off topic for Mary. <laughs> Schizopathic. Schizopathic. <laughs> no, I'm just making up another word, possibly. Okay, so yeah. Aaron, big major things. Oh. Health defects. Yeah. But so does, um, so does Jonah. Jonah has, um, uh, asthma. physical stuff and... Asthma. Asthma, yeah, major asthma too. He actually told me something. It was so sweet. He actually told me something that he only tells his closest friends. So now I'm a close friend. You're a close friend. In what did he less say? than a year, too. What did he say? He, he told him. He told me about um his um process of helping with his asthma that he has to do every other day. Um. Uh. To clean out his, um, something up here. Or sinuses? here. Yeah, sinuses or whatever. I don't know what it was, what he called it. Um, but, uh, uh, he, uh, he just, yeah, he said I was the first one he's ever told, um, after, after meeting in less than a year. And his, the only other people he told knew him from sixth grade. And most of his other friends don't even know about it. Only a few do. So, I'm a close friend. Oh, my gosh. Nice. So, Aaron, he's, he's a nerd. He's a big nerd. And an introvert. But somehow he has, like, bunches of friends. He's very... Very he's attractable. Very, he is very attractable, and he will have at least ten girls following him what? at once. He's gonna be living next to me at my mom's. Mhm. Mm yeah, he's gonna be living with my first boyfriend from high school, Andrew. Yeah, he's gonna be living with him. Yeah. So I might get your ex. Who's living with my ex? That was so weird. <laughs> <laughs> and they're both in college now. Or might be in college. My ex is in college. Is your ex going into college next year? I don't know. Or is he taking a gap year? Is it bad that I miss him? No, not at all. I still miss Andrew. Even though I talk to him almost every other week. Yeah, I talk to Aaron, like... Well, not anymore. You can't see him anymore. Okay, so we haven't even gotten into my crushes. Okay, go into your crushes, because we're pretty close. We'll, oh, we'll just make a part two. Part two! My, my this crushes. is part one. Go see part two after we post it. Please bye comment, bye. like, and subscribe. To me! And you. <laughs> Stay geeky, my friends, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!